What's up, everybody? I'm John Vaughn, the founder and CEO of Tier 5. And Tier 5 is actually the software development firm that you can see here that built Post Scheduler, maintains and supports it. You can see me sitting right back, standing right back here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through a quick demo and overview of Post Scheduler and all the cool things that it can do. And then if you need more in-depth training on how to use any individual feature, you can go through a training program. This video is just going to be a demo just going over everything that it can do and how Post Scheduler essentially works. So the first thing, you're just going to actually add it to Google Chrome. And then once you actually get this added to Google Chrome, all you're going to do is you're going to come over here. And then you're essentially just going to log in with the username and password you've been provided. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then here you'll actually see post schedule. All right. So I'm going to go in first and kind of just give you an overview of everything and what you can see here. Here you can just turn post schedule on and off. So it you know will be working to uh, post your scheduled post or not. Here is your calendar where you'll see all your scheduled posts and what type of posts they are. And you can filter by different tags and you can filter by the different post types. And I'll get into just a second what those actual are. So here you can actually see different post types. So if you're doing organic marketing, well there's several different post types that you should actually be using. So you can create your own custom post types if you want. For example, I'm creating this one. I'm creating this one called test and then I'm going to go in and actually uh, I'm going to go in and make it red so now I have this this red test and you can drag this around if you want but again there's we have predefined post types which are engagement posts value posts connection posts lead generation posts offer posts soft sell posts ask posts and encourage, encouragement posts now these are the default post types, which are the types of content you should be posting on Facebook if you're doing some type of organic marketing anywhere on social media. But then again, like I showed you, you can go in and actually create your own post types. And I'll show you how these are used in a, in a minute. Um, here you can actually create tags and tags are just actually used to further go in and just kind of filter out your content and you know tag what your posts are about for example if you have different products or services and you're creating different types of posts to market for those products and services then you can create tags to distinguish what those products and services are for example we have post scheduler that's one of our products we have several other products and i could be doing some type of value post that is related to post scheduler and i could do some type of you know lead generation post that's related to another product so the tags will allow me to further kind of understand what that specific post was actually about so here you can actually see your content library. This is where you can essentially add content to your content library so you can go in and actually model it for later. Here's where you can see all your actual scheduled posts, basically a list view of all your scheduled posts. Here is actually your calendar where you'll see everything on the calendar. And then over here you'll actually have some settings. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and actually add a setting for our personal profile. So we're going to go over here and we're going to add a, a link and we're going to create a Facebook URL and this is going to be called personal profile. And I'm going to add that URL right there. Okay. Now just to actually show you how this works, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to actually schedule some post and we're going to create a new post and this is, I'm just going to give it a a post type of test because this is what this is for so this is pulling from my content library so I'm actually not going to I'm not going to do that at all because I don't want to pull anything from my content library because I don't have anything in my content library I can show you a demo of how that will actually work so we're gonna go in and schedule a new post I'm not gonna select anything from my content library because I don't have a content library I am going to use a test tag and I am going to actually use a test post type and I am going to post this on my personal profile when am I going to post it I am going to post it today and I am going to post it right now it's 318 I am going to actually post it at 321 um, p.m. and then here I'm just going to say this is a 
test post being posted by software. And then here I can go in and actually add some image if I want to actually add some image. Not sure if there's any image that I like. Um, is there any image that I like? Any image that you guys see that you actually like? This is some raining money right here. So that's not a, that's actually a, uh, the wrong type of actual file. So I'm going to find some other image here real quick. And I'm going to use this image right here. Actually, I'm going to use this image right here. So now I'm going to actually add that image right there. And then remember, this is scheduled to go out at 321. So I'm going to click Add. So this post has actually been scheduled. So now if you look over here on your content library, you can see that you actually have a test post. Now over here you can come back in and edit the post if you want to. You can clone this post so that you can actually just post it at some other time as well. Um, and you can just go in and edit, you know, hey, where are you posting at? This is very useful if you have posts that you want to post in multiple different places, like your Facebook profile and different, different groups and, and stuff like that. So now we have basically two minutes until this actual post is going to get posted. So while we're waiting for that, let me just show you some of the other stuff that we can do. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and see, can we find any posts that we actually liked? All right. So I'm just looking for a post that I kind of like the post, where the post makes sense to me to actually be able to be able to actually model that post and maybe use that post later okay so this post has got some engagement and i could go in actually here and i could use this post to model later so i could just go in and say hey what type of post is this so i can just say this engagement do you want to put any tags here i don't want to put any tags and then i'm just going to actually save that post now if you come over here look in my content library you will see in my content library, I now have one post under engagement post. And I can even actually scan that post to scan all the likes and comments on it. And you'll see that's actually going to show up if I come over here. Uh, that scan, after that scan happens, it will actually show up. It will actually show up all the engagement and everything that's actually happening on that post. So I'll be able to go in and actually see. And you just have to wait for that process to happen. That process will happen. Here my post is being automatically scheduled. So if you look, it is 321 now. So now it is actually 321. And now my post is going to automatically get scheduled. So you can see this was the post that I scheduled. And this post is now just going to get automatically, automatically posted to my profile. So at whatever time that I actually scheduled, that post is going to actually get scheduled to my profile. And you can see now if we come back over to my profile, that post that I scheduled, that post that I scheduled is now actually posted to my profile and it was posted automatically. So this is the post that I actually scheduled and that has actually been scheduled, that has actually been scheduled automatically and that has been posted automatically. And I can just go and click here and I can actually see the post link itself and I can see, okay, where is the actual post? And what this is used for is so that you could come back in later and you can do an engagement scan, all right? So you can come back in later, you can do an engagement scan. Here is that, here is that actual post that I saw, that I saved in my content library. And you can see that it has 40 reactions and 15 comments on it. So now if I want to come in and actually schedule a new post, I can actually create a post from my content library and I can pick those engagement posts. And then you'll see inside here, here is that post right there. And I can start from that post. And then that post is already actually created. So this was actually the contents of that post. So this was the actual contents of that post. And you can see, uh, if I come over here to my engagement library and I go to my engagement post, you'll be able to actually see, hey, here is that, here is that post here and I can actually just start from that. I can actually start from that post and then go in and actually edit that post and make that post my own if I want to, but I don't want to do that. So you can see kind of what Post Scheduler is doing. Post scheduler is actually going in and it's actually just scheduling your post. You can fill your entire content. You can fill your entire content library up with posts. 
you can post to your personal profile you can post to Facebook groups that you're a part of you don't actually have to be an admin in those groups you just actually have to be inside those groups where you could normally post manually if you can normally post manually you can go in and actually post and then you can come in over here to your engagement settings and you can turn your actual engagement settings on and you can essentially scan everything that's actually in your content library and you can decide how often do you actually want to scan do you also want to scan your scheduled posts and I'm going to select all and then I'm just going to say hey scan daily and what time what time do I want to scan and let's just say 326 p.m. so and then now I can actually update this and what will happen now every day at 326 p.m. it will go into my content library and it will scan all the posts that are saved in my content library and it will also scan all the posts that I've posted here so that you can actually get the engagement on these posts and you can see how much engagement how many likes shares and comments are you getting on the posts that you're actually posting from the software itself and then you can get a quick look at your calendar and you can begin to see what your content distribution is you can see how many value posts are you creating how many lead generation posts are you creating how many soft sell posts how many ask posts how many connection posts and you can get a good idea of your content distribution and what your content distribution is actually looking like so this is a very useful software if you're doing any type of content marketing we actually have um, we actually have some amazing new designs. I actually just posted those new designs on Facebook. So we're in the middle of actually creating a redesign to make the software look even prettier and just make it look sexy. Um, so we are working on this right now. We're adding some additional functionalities where you can post to other platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram where you'll be able to post not just on Facebook you'll be able to post on different platforms and then we're also adding in some analytical functionalities where you can see you know some graphs and some data easily presented to you based on what types of content are you actually posting where you're posting those those contents and what type of content are you posting that's actually getting the most engagement so this is just kind of a quick demo and overview again you have your post types this lets you know what type of content that you're creating you can use our pre-built post types based on our own research and doing content marketing and then you can also just create your own post types you can use tags if you want to use tags and again you can actually just you know filter your you can filter your content library to look and see what type of content you've created based on those tags you have your content library and in your content library you can add anything that you see on Facebook you can add anything to your actual content library and just let us know what type of content it is so that you can understand you know hey why did you save this content and you can actually use that later to to start a post where you can actually model somebody else's content here you can go in and actually schedule a new post and view all the posts that you've scheduled or even clone them this is your content this is your content schedule where you're actually going to look and see all the different content that you've actually that you've actually created and then here's your actual settings where you're going to actually add the links on Facebook this would be where you add your personal profile you can even actually schedule these posts to somebody else's profile if you can actually post on their profile so if they allow you to actually post on their profile like you know my wife allows me to post on her profile so you could go in and actually schedule something where you could post on somebody else's profile so how you would do that is just come in here add a new link put in my wife and then what I'll do is I'll just go I love you so much because I do love her so much that's why I married her obviously just gonna find some uh, just gonna find some image and let's see here's some here's some image right here do I like any of these images no nope. I'm going to say hey I love you so much don't really like any of these images sorry I just don't like any of these images this one okay I'll use this one right here so I'm gonna save this image right here and then I'm basically just going to come over here and then I'm gonna schedule a new post I'm gonna use that file that I just grabbed right there and I'm gonna say 
I'm D Bear. That's her nickname. I love you so much. And then I'm going to do things like I'm going to make this bold, and then I'll even maybe include some little, some little guy like that, and some little guy like that, some little emojis, some little kiss emojis. Okay. Where do I want to post this? This is going to be on my wifey's profile. That's where I'm going to actually post this. What type of post is this? I'm just going to call this a test post. All right. Um, and then when do I want to post it? I'm going to post it today. And then I am going to post this at 3.32. And then once this post, I'll just end the demo here. So now I'm going to actually schedule that. Now that post has actually been scheduled. That post has actually been scheduled. And I can come over here and I can see now I have two posts there. Here's a post right there. And here's another post. The, both those posts are actually scheduled for today. And then I can even actually go, I can even go back in and I can actually add these posts to post scheduler. So I can actually add these posts to post scheduler as far as this was some type of, this was some type of post that I've already actually posted myself. I can go in and actually add those posts to post scheduler to actually get them on my, get them on my content and calendar. So um, how I would do that, I actually just showed you wrong, but how I would do that is I would essentially just grab this right here, and then I would pick the day that I actually posted this. And I can say this was posted on my personal profile. Here's the link to the post. What type of post, what type of post was this? This was an engagement post meant just to engage people, and then I can add that there. That way I can go in and actually add, that way I can go in and actually add posts that have actually been previously previously posted to my personal profile so I can get a good idea if I've posted posts on my own and I didn't use post scheduler I can go in and actually get those added back to my personal profile and then we'll just wait one more minute where you can see that this post is actually you know I've got a scheduled post and this scheduled post is actually now scheduled to get posted out to my wife's page and then you'll be able to actually see how it's just going to go out on its own no matter what I'm doing. It's going to go out on its own and it's going to schedule this post on my wife's profile and then it's going to go in and actually post on my wife's profile for me. And this is what post schedule allows you to do. You can also post in groups. You can post on your personal profile. You can post on somebody else's profile as long as they allow people to post on their personal profile. That's based on their privacy settings. Some people will allow that, some people won't. If they do allow it, then you yourself can actually go in and you can post on people's profiles through Post Scheduler. All right? Um, and then you'll get a good idea of your content distribution. That's what I actually use it for. I use it so that I have a good idea of what type of content that I'm actually posting on Facebook. How often am I posting value? How often am I making offers? How, oft, how often am I actually doing lead generation and all that good stuff? That's what I'm actually, that's what I'm actually using it for and that's why I use Post Scheduler. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind is you do need to schedule your post at least three minutes in advance and that's something that I didn't actually do here. So something I didn't actually do here was schedule this three minutes in advance. But it doesn't matter. It's actually post scheduler. It's going in right now and it's posting it. It's posting it right now. So you should try to post everything at least three minutes in advance. So now this is actually posting on my wife's page. And you can see that it's automatically posting on my wife's page. So now I didn't have to do anything. And you can see here it is right here. It has automatically posted this on my wife's page for me. It's done its job automatically. And this is essentially what Post Scheduler does, is it allows you to go in and actually post stuff. And you can go back in and you can look. And you can even find that, hey, here's that, here's that post right there. And it will take you to that exact post that has actually been. And this is so that you can actually go in and scan it for engagement. But that's a quick demo and overview of what Post Scheduler does. And if you need help on actually how to use any specific feature, you can always contact our support team or you can go through the full training videos that go through each feature in depth and explain it more and explain exactly how to use them. But that's a quick demo and overview of Post Scheduler. And